What if we could destroy the moon? It may sound like a Hollywood blockbuster storyline, but it is a subject that scientists and space enthusiasts have been asking for decades. In this video, we'll go into the wild world of lunar destruction and speculate on what might happen if we decided to nuke the moon. Will we unleash a cosmic disaster that endangers Earth's life? Or will we be able to discover the mysteries of our nearest celestial neighbor? Join us as we investigate the potentially explosive consequences of detonating a nuclear bomb on the moon. You won't want to miss this video. First, consider the immediate impact of a nuclear explosion on the surface of the moon. When the bomb explodes, it will emit a powerful burst of energy, vaporizing the surrounding rock and dirt and causing a shockwave to reverberate through the moon's crust. This would result in the formation of a large crater, potentially many miles in diameter, and the release of a cloud of material visible from Earth. The long-term ramifications of the explosion, on the other hand, might be even more intriguing. For one thing, the explosion might set off a chain of seismic events on the moon when the shockwave travels into the subsurface and shakes up the moon's interior. This could generate new cracks and fissures in the moon's crust, as well as volcanic eruptions. Furthermore, the explosion could have a huge impact on the environment of the moon. The explosion would heat the moon's surface to extraordinarily high temperatures, potentially liberating gases contained in the rock and soil. This has the potential to change the composition of the moon's atmosphere and perhaps result in the production of new chemicals and molecules. The most intriguing topic, though, is what would happen to Earth if we nuked the moon. One idea is that the explosion threw the moon's orbit off kilter, causing it to drift closer or farther away from Earth. This has the potential to have far-reaching consequences for our planet, altering everything from our tides and weather patterns to our climate and entire biosphere. Of course, all of this is completely hypothetical, we've never really nuked the moon, and hopefully never will. However, the potential repercussions of such an event are fascinating to explore and present an engaging thought experiment for both space enthusiasts and armchair scientists. While it may appear ludicrous at first, there have been various real proposals for nuking the moon throughout the years. Military applications are one of the most frequently cited justifications. Because a nuclear explosion on the moon would be visible from Earth and illustrate our technological capabilities, some strategists believe it could be used as a show of power or a message to other nations. Another motivation for destroying the moon is for scientific research and experimentation. Scientists could learn more about the moon's composition, structure, and history by detonating a nuclear weapon on it. This could help us learn more about the moons and our solar system's origins, as well as provide useful data for future research. Another factor is resource extraction. According to some researchers, a nuclear explosion may release precious materials and resources locked beneath the moon's surface, such as helium-3, which could be used for fusion power. Of course, it's worth noting that each of these justifications has substantial ethical and practical implications. Unintended effects of destroying the moon could endanger life on Earth or destabilize world relations. While the scientific and resource rewards of such an event may be interesting, the cost in terms of harm to the moon's ecosystem and environment may not be worth it. Finally, the topic of whether we should bomb the moon is complicated, raising a slew of challenging ethical, scientific, and political questions. However, it is an intriguing thought exercise to explore, providing a glimpse into the fascinating world of space exploration and the boundaries of human technology. While the concept of nuking the moon may be appealing from a scientific or military standpoint, the ethical consequences of such an act must be considered. For one thing, the moon is a naturally occurring satellite with its own ecosystem and habitat. Any attempt to change or harm that environment could have serious ramifications for the moon's ecosystem and future viability as a scientific research destination. There are also political and diplomatic ramifications to consider. Other nations may perceive nuking the moon as an aggressive move, leading to increasing tensions and violence. 
It might potentially jeopardize international efforts to promote space peace and stability, as well as raise questions about humanity's responsibility to serve as responsible stewards of the universe. Another ethical concern is the possible harm to human life and the Earth's environment. While nuking the moon may appear to be a harmless space experiment, it is vital to realize that any explosion in space could have unforeseen implications for our planet. The discharge of radioactive elements or other dangerous compounds could endanger human health and the environment, with long-term consequences that we cannot fully predict. Finally, consider whether such an act is morally justifiable. While there may be scientific or military advantages to nuking the moon, it is important to examine if those advantages are worth the possible cost and destruction. As we continue to explore and interact with our world, it is critical that we do so responsibly and ethically, taking into account the ramifications of our activities. Finally, the question of whether we should bomb the moon is moral and ethical as well as scientific and political. We must continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge and technological advancement in a way that respects the sanctity and dignity of life and reflects the highest goals of human civilization. So there you have it, a look at what would happen if we nuked the moon, as well as the many motivations for doing so. While the thought of a nuclear explosion on the moon may appear to be science fiction, it is crucial to remember that real talks have taken place about the feasibility and potential benefits of such an event. At the same time, the ethical and moral ramifications of nuking the moon must be considered, as well as whether such an act is justifiable in light of the probable harm and destruction. As we continue to explore and engage with our world, we must do so with caution and responsibility, keeping the larger consequence of our activities in mind. We hope you enjoyed and learned from this video, and that it prompted some thought-provoking ideas and conversations. If you enjoyed this video, Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great science and space material. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.